Hey guys, Maurice here from uh, Carnivore Done Right, and today's episode, I'm actually gonna share uh, from morning till night my full routine from the food I eat, the supplement I consume, um, and any type of activities. Now, today is a Sunday, um, nothing's going on, but uh, we'll make something happen. So this is my uh, morning routine. Usually I put about 10 drops of this uh, trace minerals, uh, just so I can balance some of the electrolytes as well too. As well for lunch, so I took out this uh, ribeye steak uh, is frozen right now so i'm just gonna keep it outside in room temperature for at least uh, four hours this is roughly about a pound pound and a half With my coffee, I'd add uh, this cream, it's roughly about 52%, uh, it's quite high in fat. Um, if you look at the ingredients in the back, it's only about 0.3 grams of protein per uh, serving. So since the weather is nice, it's roughly about minus six degrees, we're gonna hit the uh, mountains for a nice, uh, hour, hour and a half of walk. So we're almost at the place, uh, roughly another uh, five, ten minutes we should be there. So we just started the, uh, the hike right now. I got my boots on, wearing shorts. It's a bit windy today. Not sure how long I'll be able to last out here. Um, I'll continue at it. See how far I can get. I got my aura ring on as well too, so this way I can track how many steps. I'm looking to aim for at least a good hour, hour and a half. We'll see how it goes. got to the top he is a 360 degree where we are so it's roughly about uh, 12 o'clock and uh, so this is my uh, my lunch um, I don't really add anything else to it so we just got here a ribeye steaks roughly about a pound pound and a half full fat as you can see and yes, I'll be eating that fully raw. Also, I was asked what type of supplements I do take. Um, just because of due to my heart disease, of course, I did cut down quite a bit of supplements. But as you can see with this uh, small tube that I'm holding, I have my um, vitamin K2, um, ubiquinol uh, Q10, 100 milligrams. I take L-carnitine, 500 milligrams, and this specific pill there that is actually colored um, it is uh, a new company that I'm testing from the US supposed to keep your arterial uh, very very flexible um, also I do take uh, vitamin D3 roughly about 10,000 IU so this is my lunch with uh, the pack of vitamins that I then to take it doesn't get any better than this So after 20 minutes, we just completed the uh, ribeye steak it was super delicious. Hey guys, so around this time, it's about uh, 3 p.m. right now. Uh, I tend to actually have uh, one uh, small cup of uh, espresso shot. And that's usually done about 30 minutes prior of me working out.
I do add roughly about five grams of creatine with it. Um, so we got here. And I do put about uh, one tablespoon of, uh, this time is actually, it's a 35% uh, whipping cream. So it's been about 30 minutes since I had my coffee. So uh, we're just gonna go downstairs and actually train a bit. Now, usually I don't really train at home, but since the issues with uh, everything is being closed, uh, I'm just gonna do it from home. So this is one of the equipment that I tend to use. Uh, it is the X3 bar. Um, there isn't a lot I can do with this one, but uh, I'll just hit certain uh, body parts such as uh, deadlift and maybe do some chest also i have this attached on the door um, with the resistant bands i'll actually do this uh, few exercises for the chest So just finished uh, about two exercises only. We did the uh, deadlift, a few sets, and we did the bent row as well. Um, we did the push up for warm up, and that's about it. That's all I'm doing today. Um, and hopefully tomorrow, after work, we'll put on a little bit more into doing some uh, free weight. Didn't get a chance to do the resistant bands behind me there which is fine, um, there's always another day. Now my next uh, thing up is the near and far infrared that I actually sit in for about 10 minutes after my training. Now in the infrared room here, it does reach roughly about 60 degrees within about seven minutes sitting in the machine. Usually I'll stay in here for about 10, 15 minutes, do that on a daily basis after my exercise routine. Then I jump in into a cold uh, ice water. So now we usually, after I'm done my uh, ice bath, shower, um, and I'm relaxed for about 10, 15 minutes, my next step would be the uh, Wim Hof breathing. Uh, usually I would do that roughly about uh, two to three sessions. Every session is roughly about 30 uh, breathing technique. And usually I would try to hold my breath anywhere between two to three minutes. If I don't uh, succeed, I'll continue doing it till I uh, get uh, to that goal. Um, if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a shot. It just helps with the recovery, but at the same time it does uh, boost your immunity as well. Hey guys, so if you're not familiar with the Wim Hof breathing, I uh, will actually uh, go through it for about a few seconds here just for you. So all you have to do is uh, sit on a nice comfortable chair, uh, be relaxed, and the breathing is going to take place through your mouth and you're going to exhale through your mouth. We're going to continue doing this for at least 30 times. And when you hit your 30th time, just hold it in.
Hey guys, so it's roughly about 6 p.m. Um, around this time, I start to get my dinner ready. I'll take a few pictures of it, but uh, just to kind of go over some of the uh, uh, nighttime supplements that I do take uh, with my dinner as well too. Check it out. Uh, so in my hand, I do have, uh, you know, vitamin B complex. I have uh, niacin, uh, roughly about 500 milligrams, and I have a digestive enzyme. Now, the only re reason I take a digestive enzyme is it's not because to digest my food um just uh, to actually digest these supplements better because you gotta keep in mind a lot of these supplements are plant-based and uh, this is one of the product that i actually take for my heart um, i take it twice a day and the heteroseal i think that's how you say it it's supposed to kind of keep your arteries flexible and clean now, if you're asking me why I take this stuff, remember when I had the heart attack and I'm trying to kind of keep everything uh, quite balanced and uh, quite flexible. Also, I wanted to share with everyone, I do consume roughly about uh, one quarter cup of a frozen organic cranberries. Now, these don't have any sugars at all, but what they do is they increase the acidity. Therefore, I can actually emulsify my food better uh, and in case, uh, just because I do eat everything raw, let's just say in case there is any type of parasite on it, with the high acidity, it will destroy it. Uh, one quarter cup, about 20 minutes before I start my last meal, actually. So for dinner time, we're actually having uh, sable fish. Um, it's roughly about eight ounces and I'm actually having uh, some wild salmon as well too. So what I'm going to do right now is just uh, slice some very, very thin. So this last meal uh, does consist of the wild salmon, it is raw, and of course the sable fish. Um, I never go out one day without uh, having and or consuming uh, fish. Uh, it is essential and it does give you your omega-3s, uh, which is amazing. So it is raw, uh, it tastes nice. Usually if you cannot handle it raw, you can actually cure it for about four hours with uh, Himalayan salt. Check out one of the videos I did post uh, how to actually cure the fish as well too. Hey guys, so it's coming down to end of night. Um, it's roughly about 8 p.m. Usually by that time, I eliminate anything to do with the smartphone, computer, so on and so forth, just so it doesn't uh, interrupt uh, my sleep. Um, and roughly about 30 minutes before I sleep, I tend to take one of my last supplement, uh, which is uh, roughly about three to 400 milligrams of magnesium glycinate with uh, five grams of glycinate as well too. All, both of them in uh, one cup of water, 30 minutes prior. And after that, I try to sleep uh, before 10 o'clock. I find that's my optimal time. And usually I'll get about a good six hours and I would hit roughly about a 90% efficiency for my sleep when I check my aura ring. Also, I do wear a Morphis. Um, it's a band that actually goes around your uh, forearm. And what that does, um, it allows me whether I am fully recovered from my previous workout and whether I'm ready for my next uh, exercise or not. Um, I hope you guys like my uh, full day um, sharing everything with you guys. I try to kind of capture as much info as possible. Uh, if you do have any questions, please list them below in the comment. Uh, again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Cheers.